Welcome to a Week 7 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the Wyoming Cowboys travel to Fresno to take on the Fresno State Bulldogs. The Cowboys are 1-0 in conference play and 4-1 overall after last week's 34-13 victory over the Akron Zips. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 7 Mountain West Conference matchup as the 4-1 Wyoming Cowboys travel to Fresno to take on the 1-3 Fresno State Bulldogs. Welcome to Valley Children's Stadium, everyone, the home of the Fresno State Bulldogs. And for a team whose mantra is anytime, any place, anywhere, it's always good to be home. And these fans have shown up for the clash we have ahead of us. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the winners of four straight, the Wyoming Cowboys taking on a team recharged after a much-needed bye week, the Fresno State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Fresno State will kick it off, and we will be underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Wyoming's offense will start this game off. And here comes their leader. Play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football. Finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one arm behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. First down for this offense. Looking for room, it's Scott. On the move at the 30. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot, he's in the hole, he's there to do his job, and he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job, get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you gotta make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. After the nine yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. They'll go right back to it. Tackled, but he has a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. Quickly to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. To the air. It's Svoboda. Fires to the big fella. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. After picking up a couple at second and eight, he's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Looking for a crease. It's Scott trying to pound their way forward. He picks up a couple to the 31. 
you know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. On second down, looking again to throw. Working the middle, it's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. Big fullback's got it. And the Cowboys have enough for the first down. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Just outside the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Let's it fly deep downfield. Throw to the end zone, picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, statistically, this defense is not one of the better units against the pass. They're trying to change that here today. What a great job tracking the ball down, making a play on it, stabbing it out of the air for a big interception early. That should be massive for their confidence. Offense getting set for first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Freeman. Tackled after picking up the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. Still on his feet at the 40. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Fresno State back to work with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. With jet sweep pass. Twist his way through. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Finds a spot in the middle. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Second down coming up. Off play action. Feeling some heat. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains after that incompletion. The aerial assault continues. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone, and you're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And he'll have to find the line and generate some power, a 46-yarder from the left. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. I know he thinks he can you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They're going to ride this running back. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys. Just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. From the gun to give, looking for room. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. From the gun, running back on the move. The Cowboys will keep this drive going. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. He wants to throw. Whoa, well, does he turn that loose down the middle? And that deep shot's going to wind up incomplete, but we do have a flag on the field. Let's see what the official says. Just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Tight end finds a soft spot. Tackled there by the defense. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. They'll run for it on third and short. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Man, this offense continues to do such a great job on third down. One of the best in the country at it. And the reason why, they keep it manageable most of the time. Third and short, they can run the football, be physical, convert first downs. This offense has been so good on third downs. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. Wide out in motion. The gift to the back. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. And how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. That's the end of the quarter, guys. And Fresno State is on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. To the ground. He's got it again. 
And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got it! And he was close to scoring with that one. Defense runs him out of bounds at the three. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at four. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. Ball is at the three-yard line. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone, but they'll need to move forward here on fourth and short. They'll try it on the ground. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Cowboys will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. I'm trying to power it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wyoming! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Tulane is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Sean King, and they are right back in this. They're trailing by 11 to UAB. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. They'll leave it with him. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Bunch formation for these receivers. Some early movement along the offensive line, and they'll walk it back. Ball start. Our so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. Handoff from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Got his man to the left. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Fresno State right back to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, the ground game. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. 
After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go to the ground, fighting off the defender. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. They'll give it to him again. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. And the Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Working that left side now. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Personal foul. A late hit moves the ball up 15 yards. In this area of the field, you want to get heat on the quarterback, but that roughing the passer penalty gives up a first and goal. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Second and goal for the offense. Pushes for the goal line. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. They had to kick a field goal on their first drive. They really need to punch it in the end zone on this one on third and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He was on target with his first kick, and this one ought to be easy from 20 yards away. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. If you like old-fashioned, grind-it-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. They'll go to the air on third and short. Grab near the marker. It's Merritt. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. They go to the ground. Not a lot of daylight, he gets one to the 32. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. 
Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Quarterback keeps it. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. No gain on the play. Brings up second down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and 10. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. He finds his man. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. My goodness, this offense has got it rolled. They might put up a 50 burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. And the Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Stevenson. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cowboys! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 14-6. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Miami had a dominant win, the kind the folks in South Florida were used to in 2001 when Ken Dorsey, Clinton Portis, and Jeremy Shockey led the Canes to a national title. Talk about a special team. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. On target to the left. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. They're bringing heat. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. 
Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air. It's Keen. Pressure coming. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. He's looking downfield to throw. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease. And the Wyoming offense will take over first and ten. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Merritt. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific scene there today in Fresno. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most.
will kick it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. But they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Ready to fire from the pistol. Back to throw. It's Keen. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. Still running at the 40. Off he goes. Touchdown, Fresno State. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. Fast motion from the offense. They're going to run it. He gets in there for the two-point conversion and pushes the lead to three. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more run. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow and they got the flag. Looking for a productive play on first down. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Offensive players know where the ball is going. Defensive players don't. Great job by the DB adjusting to the football, seeing it, playing the wide receiver, and making sure he can't catch the football. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Scott. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. On second down, he's looking downfield. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man downfield. 
He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. Third down is money down, and they were money. Great job getting the football to your playmaker. And then watch, after the catch, making the play, getting the big first down. Now you're set up in great position to go get six with a first and goal opportunity. And the Cowboys are marching down the field. A first down run in the red zone. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Looking for a man, it's Svoboda. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Quarterback now has to make sure his guys are dialed in. You can't make any more mistakes. Giving up a negative play on second down, down by the goal line, you've got to be really smart with this football. Third and goal coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And that one sails through the back of the end zone. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Fresno State takes over in the offense. We'll go back to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Going for it all. Makes the grab on the left side. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Fresno State. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, it's a final now in one of the more intriguing games of the week, that notable top 25 clash. Kansas stomped a mud speaks to the way this coach has galvanized this team and the direction this program is headed. A top 25 clash and an impressive showing that could be a huge confidence builder for this program. Back to you. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he'll go down, but he delivered the business end of his stiff arm to that defender on the way. Now on first down from the 30. They'll ride the hot hand. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. To throw, it's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. The Cowboys have it with a first and 10. Leaves it with the back. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. 
The give from the gun. Got some room, entered to the goal line. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. What a nice touchdown run, and this is a team effort, right? It's got to start with the offensive line to give you that crease, and then the wide receivers start to kick in, and the running back, he handles the rest. Nice touchdown run. Lining up for the PAT. And they did make the extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the third. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. From the shotgun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. They're working that left side. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Looking to throw. It's Keen. Wide open downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Now they'll run the draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. They're trying to get to him. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And it looks as if this was a touchback Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense how big is this drive scored a touchdown the last time they had it defense gets a stop and now it's up to them in a tie game all right so if you're the offensive coordinator here let's dial it in who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity yeah and i'm interested to see this defense too like the momentum is clearly not in your favor how do you get it back how do you make a big play do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football? And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hot mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Lofts one high and deep. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. And the Cowboys send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. 
They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They fought tooth and nail through three, and it is all... in the quarter with this first down play. They're getting this guy lathered up. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Motion from the offense. Power football with the run. Hit the F. Got enough space. Touchdown Bulldogs. They move on top here in the fourth. This is why you consistently run the football. A steady diet because you can break the long touchdown runs. Nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage, outrunning the rest, getting in for the long touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Merritt. Didn't find any crease in that 17. And the Wyoming offense will take over. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Right back to the well. They opened the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles, and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Back open in the middle. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. He wants to throw here on second down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. They'll throw on third and short. Finds his man down the middle. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup.
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Sends it downfield. It's caught downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Give to the back. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Great job by the receiver catching that curl route. And did you see the way he came back to the football? That's a great lesson for a lot of young receivers out there. You create separation by coming back to the quarter. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw for it. Snags it. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. And guys, if they can make their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth, and the stage will be set for a great finish. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wyoming. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Getting set for the point after. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To the air. It's Keen. They're setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Fresno State will have to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return. Yeah. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop, and now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. To the ground with the back. The Cowboys pick up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Looking for space, it's Scott. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground but it will be very successful. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it to the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Hand off to the lone back. And they just can't square him up, and he gets down to the 36. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. If they tried the field goal from here, it would be 53 yards. They'd love to help the kicker out on third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He's got his man. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stopped him short of the marker. And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game could end. Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first first down, Jesse. Get that first first down, stop the clock, get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. Heel off one deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Finds his man. It's Freeman. And that is a big one. Not content to go to overtime. They're going to try to get into position to win it here. Great execution there on that throw by the QB and his intended target. Keeping this drive going getting chunks of yards, trying to get themselves in position to win. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Going up top on first down. He's got his man. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. Dropping back, it's Keen. Quick completion on the out route. Oh, look out, the ball's free. 
And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. To the air on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. The defense will use a timeout here. There are 16 seconds left to play. And this field goal might not lock the game away, but you'd be able to hear the tumblers clicking. The official says no good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. A first down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and 10. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Out of bounds at the 37. And that's good enough for a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. The pass is incomplete, and there are two kicks remaining on the clock. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. They'll send out the kicker here. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. A delay of game penalty in this part of the field? Man, the defense just starts spitting fire after that. They'll go empty. Five wide receivers on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions, probably maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, baby. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, and, and the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Cowboys with the first and ten. He's going to pass. Makes the grab on the left. No running back on the field. Five wide on second and one. Looking to throw it again. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Defense, 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 defense. 
They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. To the air, it's Svoboda. And he feels the heat coming in. It burns him up. Another sack. They'll try to put three on the board and take the lead in overtime. No, oh, no good. Now the pressure switches to their defense. They've got to get a stop. Nothing to work with as they try to force another. Defense has its back against the wall as they try to extend this game and force another overtime. He'll come out throwing on first down. Gets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Let's see what they've got on second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Fresno State working from the red zone. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. DB's right up on the receivers. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Third down, and they want to make sure their kicker has a chance to win it in overtime. Looking to the end zone. He just about had the pick, and what a play that would have been in overtime, but it brings up fourth down. Timeout called by the defense as they want to make sure they avoid any hint of a mental lapse here in overtime. It's good! A walk-off field goal, and he gets it done in OT! The drama built throughout this game, memorable plays, and then finally the gut-wrenching loss at the end in overtime. This coaching staff is going to look back at the overtime, and they're going to wish they had called some different plays. They had some things set up, but ultimately, with games like this that come down to the wire, you got to be able to dial up plays to win. I don't think this coaching staff did a great job. And it's so frustrating to get to this point and make enough plays to be in the game, to come up short in overtime. I'd almost rather get blown out or this game decided in regulation. Just very frustrating to lose a game, especially like this in OT. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. After a bye week next week, the Cowboys travel to Albuquerque for a Mountain West Conference showdown with the New Mexico Lobos in Week 9. 